What's going on guys? This is Malcolm. You're on Malcolm Talks. How you guys feel? Y'all doing alright? Alright, cool. Monday, man. Monday evening. Just ended the day. I'm just leaving work. And uh, one of my subscribers, he, he sent uh, a request to talk about something that I feel is very important. I can't believe I'm just now talking about this, but it was an excellent idea. He wants me to talk about nutrition. And the importance of nutrition because nutrition is huge nutrition and being healthy you know that that's gonna play into your success now I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you though just because you're healthy you can be broke as hell and healthy now <laughs> let's not get that twisted you can be one of the most healthiest people on earth without a dime right you can be fasting you can be doing intermittent fasting not because you want to because you ain't got no money but that's not what I'm talking about what I'm talking about is nutrition man and I want to get into like foods and what are the good foods to be eating in and what should we be eating you know what I'm saying let's talk about it because I think that it's a very simple common sense way to go about doing this <clears throat> first of all hey I need some help in this area too I'm like six feet about 217 that's a big boy um, I have a lot of muscle mass though like I'm not all swole you know what I'm saying but I'm big boned let's say that I'm big boned <laughs> I don't remember who said this but it was like oh you ain't big boned that's just uh, big, you got regular bones with a lot of big meat wrapped around or something. I don't know what they said, but I could I could spare to lose some weight. I need to be working out more. There's no excuse, but I could definitely be eating better. My nutrition could be better. But when it comes to nutrition, it's a few things you just want to remember, and, and hopefully I can speak on this topic just so you can get my insight first of all we are animals we are animals as human beings we are animals now hopefully we don't have to debate that we don't have to go back and forth about that there's some people like my wife she's like I ain't no animal I'm like okay I don't mean like an animal animal you know what I'm saying with claws and teeth and uh and fur and all this but we are animals we come from a certain genome type or whatever we are broken down by species we are primates that's key we are primates so what does that mean well that means we're in the same family with gorillas and orangutans and monkeys and they have a lot of our DNA it's like 98% of something crazy Hey man, if you got a 98 on the test, that's an A. That's damn near an A plus. You mean to tell me a monkey is 98% of my DNA and I'm, and I'm not supposed to uh, think something is interesting about that? I find that extremely interesting. That means we share a hell of a lot with monkeys and gorillas and orangutans. All of these monkeys, man. All these different... <laughs> Why is it so funny talking about monkeys to me, man? I don't know. It's something about a monkey, bro, but I'm only bringing up primates because what do primates eat? Because to me, if primates have been around for millions of years, I don't know how long they've been around, longer than us, and they've been thriving. Let's take a look. What do they eat? Let's eat like monkeys. <laughs> Let's eat like a monkey, man. And it's not just bananas, man. Come on, man. It's more than just bananas, bro. Monkeys eat a lot of fruit. Monkeys eat a lot of young leaves. <laughs> eat a lot of young leaves. Fresh vegetables, man. Fruits, vegetables. Very important to a healthy diet. Now, a monkey will eat meat, but it's... Uh, sparingly 
they don't eat as much meat. You know, an orangutan is not going to eat as much meat as a human. Human beings, we eat meat. We eat meat every meal. Lamb chops, steak, chicken, pork, fish. I mean, we've been cooking over an open flame. As soon as we found out open flame, bro, we start throwing all kind of meat on that, on there. I know I love barbecue. I love grilling. But we probably eat a little too much meat. Human beings, we probably eat too much meat because the primate family does not eat that much meat. So you have to look at it. Is my stomach even built for this? Is my stomach, is my stomach and intestinal tract built for this much meat? Because it's definitely built for that much um, vegetables and, and fruit. We know that because we're primates. Now, I think there is one type of primate that has like a secondary stomach or something. Almost like a cow. You know how a cow has all these chambers and shit? There's a certain type of, of primate. It's a monkey. I can't remember the name of it. But its diet is so fibrous that it will take the fibrous plant life that it eats a lot of, put it in one chamber of its stomach where it gets broken down even further, and once that gets broken down, it goes into the regular stomach. And then that gets digested. Well, with us, all we got is a stomach and some intestine. We don't have all these extra stomachs to be breaking down all this food we putting in there, man. You know what I'm saying? So you have to ask yourself, when it comes to nutrition, what am I? You're an animal. 